NASCAR Busch Series champion, Winston Cup rookie, EA Sports. I'm in the game. NASCAR Thunder 2004. How are we doing today, YouTube? This is Manny Jones. Hope you had a fantastic day, night, morning, wherever you may be. Last time with our old pal, Kerry Earnhardt, we had quite the interesting race at Pocono. It was running up around 42nd position, got turned around into the wall. Jeff Gordon handed to the back of us, blew our fuel, so our first DNF of the year. And the crazy thing is Mike frickin' Skinner won the goddamn race. So we didn't have the best finish. We got a good qualifying finish. We qualifying start rather. So we had a good, good day decently money-wise, but we want to get that finish across, you know? We're at the Brickyard and hopefully we'll see if we can do something okay at the Brickyard. Let us look through the point standings after that crazy race. Tony Stewart is still your points leader. He leads Junior by 201 points. There's Junior right there. Dale Jarrett, Kevin Harvick, Mark Martin, Ryan Newman, Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Burton, Bobby Labonte, Sterling Marlin, Rusty Wallace, Jeff Gordon, Matt Kenseth, Ricky Rudd, Michael Waltrip, Kurt Busch, Bill Elliott, Johnny Benson, Ricky Craven, Jamie McMurray, Elliott Sadler, Jeff Green, Kenny Wallace, Ward Burton, Jeremy Mayfield, Terry Labonte, Jerry Nadeau, Robbie Gordon, who Harry Earnhardt fell two spots. Of course, Robbie Gordon and Jerry Nady both finished in the top 10 of the race at Pocono. So that, that finish really killed us, I'll tell you what. Um, the rest is uh, Joe Nemechek, followed by Steve Parr, Greg Biffle, Brett Bodine, Jack Spray, Kyle Petty, Kenny Schrader, Hermie Sadler, Casey Mears, and here's Mike Skinner. Did he have a top 10? Oh my God, that was his first top 10 too. So <laughs> Mike Skinner with the random victory at Pocono. Uh, Christian Fittipaldi, Kevin LePage, Stanton Barrett, Ashton Lewis, Chase Montgomery, David Green, and Kevin Grubb. That's your full point standings. As for Rookie of the Year, we took a hit in that department. We're still decisively in second. Greg Biffle in third for Rookie of the Year. I don't think we'll get to Danny McMurray. We'd have to get some insanely good luck. Uh, the rest of the race is through, and I don't think we'll get there, but hey. What matters is the championship at the end of the day. So, uh, let's see your manufacturer championship. Right now, it is Chevrolet, followed by Ford, Dodge, and Pontiac. Your poll award winner is still Jeff Gore with the most polls. Junior with four, Junior with third, and Martin and Carrier and Hart are tied for fourth with two. Tony Stewart is getting uh, Dale Jr. in his rearview mirror in the lap champion race, just like in the points championship. So, Let's hope something good here. We got about four races till we get the engine shop requirement, improvement rather to say. Let's get to it, man. The Brickyard 400. All right, let's get this qualifying done at the Brickyard. Not a bad turn, don't wanna accelerate too much. There we go, good corner to corner. That's a good corner, let's go. Keep it low, keep it low. All right, I like this. Let's go. Oh, NASCAR and the Brickyard. It's funny to me how Formula One and NASCAR both have had like two really bad races at the at the Brickyard at Indianapolis, and that have both resulted in like just fans not attending. Because honestly, before 08, Indianapolis was at least you know decently packed. I know they do on the road course now in NASCAR, but and F1 doesn't even go to Indy at all, so. What do y'all think about that? Hey, okay. I can get with that. We'll try and improve this time, though. I would love to do that. Let's improve this time. 28th is pretty darn good, actually. That's beating my expectations, honestly. We get that qualifying uh, bonus. That'll be phenomenal. There we go. That's good. Get to turn four. Good. There we go. Let's see. Come on. We gotta get better than fifty-one seven twenty. 
So I don't know if we will. Come on. Ah, we will. So 28th is where we'll start things for this Brickyard 400. But let's see if we can improve things in the race itself. Welcome to MRN's live coverage from the famed Indianapolis Motor Speedway for today's Brickyard 400. The Brickyard is a track with a lot of history, and it's seen plenty of great racing over the years, hasn't it, Barney? Indianapolis Motor Speedway, what a deep history this place has. I still get chills walking into this place. Speaking of history, there will be a lot of drivers fighting to get into victory lane for a chance to kiss the bricks after this one is all over today. In 1999, Tony Stewart won the Rookie of the Year Award with one of the finest first seasons in NASCAR history. Three wins, two poles, and a fourth place points finish. That's a tough act to follow for any driver, and I'll bet it'll be a long time before another rookie has a coming out party that big. The Sears Craftsman car hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. Something a little out of the ordinary in this one for Ricky Rudd. I spoke to the crew chief this morning and he told me that they just missed the setup in qualifying, but he does expect his driver to make his way up through the field and get a good finish without much problem. The command has been given. Dill Jr. rolls off on the pole hole by Tony Stewart, the man he is chasing in the points race. We start 28th. Can we move up, though? Let's see what happens. Green flag in the air at the Brickyard. There goes Kenny Trader right by us. See Jimmy Johnson, too. A fall in. Right behind that 49. Get that drafted and we will be fine. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go, there we go. Gonna get that drafted looking pretty darn good and we'll be okay, I think. We will be okay. What's up, Greg? Come on, we gotta, we gotta get something good here, Brick, man. Brick, what about that? What's up, Brick? It's the Brick Yard. We were at Walt Disney World's people, it'd be the Mick Yard. That, I believe that the track's no longer around, I think, so. Oh, the Mickyard. We, we used to drive by that track all the time when uh, my family went to Disney World, and I always wanted to go there and do a couple laps, because they would always advertise the Richard Petty driving experience over there and whatnot, so. Never got to, though. Our thing I want to do is Andy Hillenberg's Fast Track Driving School. He had, I, I don't know if he still does that. He still runs his ARCA team, but I don't know if he still does the drive in school at like Rockingham and whatnot. It's kind of fun. Get to be in a stock car. Oh shit. A little bit too crazy there. Let's just get through this turn, okay. There's that 57 of LePage. Let's just get through this corner. Get that drafting we need. You know, save some fuel. What's up, Greg? Let's, 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 be, let's, be, let's be friends, Greg. Uh, what do you like to do in your out time, Greg Biffle? I know you once did snowboard with your own old race hood. That thing is pretty cool. I mean, I, I like sledding, too. Bye, Greg. Oh, this will be a good... Oh, shit! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, he saved it good. Oh! Oh! There we go. That could have ended our run right there and put us behind the wall. But thank goodness we had the wherewithal to slow down and just get through it. All right, let's go. What's up, Steve? How you doing, Steve Park? Try and block us down low as we're trying to get there. He's got, he's got with uh, Joe Nemechek, it looks like, in the 25 car. There we go, there we go. Whoa. A little bit of a risky 
maneuver. Whoa! Wow, big leg. You okay? Ooh, I, I, I was, that was definitely a video game move. That one's on me, though. That one is on me. I got a little bit too greedy there. I should not be doing that. That one's on me, though. I got a little bit too greedy thinking I could just stick that and make it work somehow, you know? Just a little bit. Oh, shit. I'm in the middle of three wide. Focus, focus, focus. Good. Got through it okay. Oh. I think being in the middle of three wide for me is scary. I, it's scary to me. What's up, Terry? There we go. Let's just get back in that draft. Terry Labonte in that Kellogg's go. No, sir, Rusty Wallace, you ain't getting by me. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta break more, damn it. Hey, we got loose in that turn, too, and there goes our position there. Break just a little bit more. What's up, Rusty? Oh, we're still kind of allies, okay. How you doing, buddy? How's, how's the weather, man? How's life? You doing okay, buddy? I want up here. Oh shit. Oh, hello, Kenny Schrader. Now we are hitting the wall a ton. Not what I want. Oh. What's the 20? What's the 20? What's the 25 pick for? Oh, the 23. The one car coming up quick. The leader has about nine seconds off. I wonder if it's like that strategy they have at Pocono, where like guys will pit early and whatnot, trying to get that. Time to go based on fuel side. You get the hell out of here, Jeff Green. Go complain to Richard Childress again. All right, so we're halfway on gas. 21st position's not that bad. I'm very happy with that. Even though we've had some contact, I'm not going to repair the damage because, honestly, man, I want to get that. I want. I, I want. I don't want a DNF again. I want to get a good position on the track. What's up, JD Mac? you. Oh! Oh shit! Oh, we spun! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh shit! Jamie Mack had nowhere to go. He turned, he turned us around. Caution out at the burger. We're definitely going to have to fix this damage now. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that one's on me. That one's on me. I, of course, I'll try to make that condition a little too aggressively. You'll see it right there. He had nowhere to go. Turned me up right into Jeff Green. Thankfully, nothing else hit us. We held on to it, so. Uh, caution comes out on lap number seven. Initially, I wasn't gonna pay that damage, but we need to, actually. We need to pay that damage, man. So all four, and we'll be good to go, man. We're probably gonna come out in very, in very bad position. All those guys that pitted, though, on lap five, they're gonna stay out of course, so. We'll see how that works. Oh, come on, guys. We can't be having that. No, sir. We, we cannot be having that. No, 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 no. Get out there. Get out there. Get out there. Hope we're going to come out last, I think. Some guys stayed out to gain Let's position. see where we are. 35th. That's actually surprising. Hey, Jeff. What's up, Jeff? Who's the leader? Sterling Marlin, Kyle, no, not Kyle, Kurt Busch, Ward Burton, and Kenny Wallace, and Kenny Schrader's in the, in the, is fifth. That's crazy. Let's see what we do on the restart. Short run, we can gain some position, so this might be a good thing for us. Can gain position. I'm not sure if those guys at the front that stayed out. I'm not sure they'll make it on fuel. They might have to pit again. I don't know, but we'll find out. The four car is still there. Get by, get by the four. Now it's up with the O2. Where's Todd Bodine, Hermie Sadler? What have you done with Onion? Tell me. Where's Onion, Hermie? You replaced him in this game. Where is Onion? You let him by. He's gonna make things tough on him. Keep hitting those marks. Leader's about five seconds ahead. Ooh, Just come on. I thought I could get that, damn it. Gotta keep the tires in good shape to be fast, buddy. That's 
get this. It's a good turn two. That's a good turn two. I dig that. I dig that. I dig that. It's a car blowing up. It looks like that is the 40 of Sterling Marlin. Off day for the 40 car. Oh shit, no. We are getting loose and loose. Luckily, he didn't hit the wall there. Number 15, coming up I see quick. Mr. Mikey Waltrip. What's up, Michael? Mikey Waltrip. Mikey. Oh, Michael hit the wall, I think. Just a little up tap. Ooh, could I get. Maybe? No, I'm not going to get followed. There, they got the draft. They got that draft. We're falling back. Focus on your marks, buddy. It's three wide. Oh. 15 car is still there. Made it three wide and somehow made it work. Oh, Hermie! I told you, Hermie, you gotta tell me where the hell Todd Bodine is. What did you do to Todd Bodine? What did you do to Todd? Where is he? Is he in the truck series? Damn it. Hold on, hold on to it, Carrie. Just try and muster together a good finish. At least by our standards, at least, you know. Well, this could be a good, this could be a good lap. Get that, get that draft going. Actually, it won't be, but we're taking this position here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mikey, I'm sorry. Mikey, I'm sorry. Oh, you stuck three wide, let's go. Made it work. Three laps to go. Trying to get all the position that we can get. I might just drive with Michael. Come on, Mikey. We can get we can get by the 16. Together. Together. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, whoa! Bodine, what are you doing? There is something in this game about the CPU getting below that line right there. This thing happened in New Hampshire. If you get below that the normal CPU like racing line, oh they are like they are done for. And then we're gonna get back to the last spot. What's up, Army? You still haven't told us where Todd is. And I will find the end I will find out where Todd Bodine is. Where is he? It'll be like that scene in the in, 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 in the dark night where like I'm just like, where is he? Where is he? Army's gonna try low. No, sir, you ain't gonna get. No, 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 no. Fuel is at hand. Down low. And we're gonna get spun. No, we're gonna hold on to it. Just trying to hold this position, man. I do not want to get past. I am being ultra aggressive, just like Shane Meal would have been. <laughs> just like Shane Meal would have been. All right, final lap at the Brickyard. One more time around Indianapolis. We're all the way back, nine seconds back in 30th. Find out who wins. At least we're gonna finish this race. You know, at least we're gonna finish the race. That makes me somewhat happy. We're gonna finish this race. There we go. Bobbing and weaving all over the place. God dang. I see Joe Nemechek. The one car is looking to pass. I'd like to see him stay back there. I would too, guys. I would too. No one inside. Well, no surgery, they do. Trigger flag in the air. We will finish the race in 30th position, holding off Jerry Nadu and Joe Nemechek. Who wins? That's the question. Who wins the race? And your race winner, Dale Jarrett, Mark Martin second, Kevin Harvick third, Bobby Labonte fourth, and Tony Stewart is fifth. Well, that didn't go as I hoped it would, but Indy's kind of like Pocono, man. That drafted and whatnot. Let's see how everything else wrapped up. We got the associate bonus, so not the most money I'd hope, but... Let's hope for some better. Everywhere else across the track looks like uh, Newman finished sixth, Jeff Burton seventh, eighth was Jimmy Johnson, ninth Kurt Busch, and tenth was Ricky Rudd. Dale Jr. finished. Uh, where did Jr. finish? Damn. Did we finished better than Jr. Yo, wait. What did what did Jr. retire? 
I don't even think I noticed that. Oh my lord. So Junior still leads the most laps. That will increase the lead for Tony Stewart in the race. And the point standings for Switch say. Uh, how about Jimmy Mack finishing 11th, Robbie Gordon 14th. So two straight good finishes for the 31 team. Nothing good here uh, for Perry Earnhardt. Sponsor down to 60%. That's just wonderful. Pairing, pairing. Body is done. New body is done on the new body done by the way, so we'll have this ready for the next race. Uh, the engine still getting repaired, as is the other engine here. So we might have the best engine or chassis. Uh, we are four races away from the engine shop. I think I misspoke in the recording earlier. I might have said four earlier, but we got four races to go to the engine shop, and that'll be a great boost for sure. We'll wrap things here, though. If you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure that sub button, too. Next time up, it'll be the Glen or race. I'm actually excited for it. We had our first top five at uh, Sonoma, or Sears Point, Finneon, use whatever name you want to use, but... We got our first top five on the other road course. Let's see if we could do it on the other road course on the schedule. Hit that like and sub button, though, boys. Thanks again for all y'all support. You can find me on Twitter at Manny Jones FM on Instagram. That same username and on Twitch, Manny Jones FM. And until next time, I've been Manny Jones. Hope you've had an amazing time watching this video. Until next time, I'm out of here.